Hey guys, what's up? My name is Samantha Rice. Thank you so much for stopping back by my channel for another weekly update. This week, I'm going to be talking about week 27 of pregnancy, which means that I am 28 weeks today, which means we are in the third trimester, you guys. That's how I feel about that. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about week 27. Week 27, probably like my toughest week mentally, to be honest. I've had a really, really smooth pregnancy. It's Everything has gone awesome. Um, and I'm so, so thankful for that. But this week, I feel like I am growing so quickly and so rapidly. And it's almost hard for my brain to catch up with watching my body change so quickly. I don't even know how to explain it. Um, but it's just, it's, I don't know, I feel like guilty even saying it, but it's really strange seeing yourself change so quickly and feeling 100% positive about it in terms of like how you look. So, I don't know, it's kind of where my head's at right now. I'm feeling just different. And seeing myself looking in the mirror and not seeing my normal self is a little bit more difficult and tougher than I thought it would be to be honest but I know that when it's all said and done and the baby boy is here that obviously it's all worth it it's just something that has kind of come on pretty recently um, so I wanted to share that part of pregnancy with you guys today um, I've been sharing a lot of my journey on my Instagram, so if you guys are interested and you're on Instagram, I would love to connect with you there. My handle is at Samantha Rice Photography. So find me on Instagram. Um, so week 27, feels like things are picking up and going by quick. I got the results back from my glucose test. I passed by one point, you guys. Insane. So, and when I say that I passed by one point, I mean I passed the first test of like I didn't have to go back and get another test to see if I had gestational diabetes um, I just so it's basically like if you get a 140 they make you go back and take the three-hour test I got a 139 thank God I don't have to go back and do that again like I said it wasn't that bad but oh my gosh when I saw 139 I was like how did I beat it by one point oh my gosh okay so I'm so happy that that is over and done with and put in the past tomorrow morning I go and I get my um, blood work done and then I go back in the afternoon to the hospital and get a shot um, which I've talked to you guys a little bit about in the past for I think it's um, has to do with my blood type of being B negative so I have to go and get a little bit of blood work done tomorrow but nothing crazy other than that, symptoms that I've had this week have just been, obviously, the continued aches and pains. I would say the biggest symptom or new thing that has happened this week is that I'm feeling the baby hiccup. And it feels like he's hiccuping in my butt. I was texting my, a few of my girlfriends who are pregnant or who just had babies and I was like, is this normal? Like, why do I feel like he is hiccuping in my butt? So. He must be head down and that's just where I'm feeling the hiccups. But it is so crazy to feel his little hiccups. They're so, like you, you know when they're hiccups because they're, they have like a rhythm to them and it's happened a few times. So anyway, that's been pretty cool. Um, his movements have picked up at an extreme rate. So, I mean, I was feeling him kick and punch before and I was, it was like a little, you know, intense, like what I thought. Oh my gosh, no. Now he is like taking his elbow and like shoving it across my stomach and like kicking me so hard where I can like feel his limbs. It's crazy, but so cool, but so crazy. Um, so that has been like, I would say the two biggest things that have happened this week is in far, as far as symptoms go. Um, I did start drinking some raspberry leaf tea um, just because I've heard recommendations on that, that it helps strength, strengthen your uterus walls. So just trying to get a head start there. Um, I think I told you guys last week, but we did finish our hypnobirthing class. That was wonderful. Again, for like the 50th time, I highly recommend checking out a hypnobirthing class if you have one um, in your area. And what else? I finished my registry, but I told you guys that last week. So honestly, um, that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you. 
as far as what went on during week 27. I, again, I cannot believe that we are in week 28 and that we're in the third trimester. Um, the body pains are picking up like quite um, a lot. I'm having just, it's just constant. It's just nothing is comfortable at this point and I'm just growing so quick it feels like. And I just am out of breath and all the things, but thankful, very thankful that I get to experience this. Anyway, um, really happy that you guys were able to stop by the channel again. Not a huge update, but looking forward to coming back next week and giving you my week 28 update. Um, like I said, follow me on Instagram. I would love to follow other pregnant mamas or new mamas back so we can connect. My Instagram handle again at Samantha Rice Photography, and I look forward to chatting with you guys all next week. Thanks.